Hello everyone and welcome to another horror news update. Today we're going to be talking about some of the latest horror news that's kind of going around the area. Last time we talked about Human Centipede 3, today we're going to talk about some other stuff. So, let's get to the good bloody stuff, shall we? First on the menu today, for all you Piranha fans out there, uh, Piranha 3D came out in 2010 if you guys didn't know. And um, let's actually get in a sequel that's called Piranha 3 Double D. Which hits theaters June 1st, finally. I've been waiting for, this is, you know, it's, the films are done for a while now, and it just kept, you know, not getting a release date, so I've been waiting for this for a while, so, to me that was big news. Anyways, uh, June 1st is when it's coming out, stars, uh, David Hasselhoff, uh, Daniel Panabaker, and, uh, Ving Rhames. Uh, the director is John Golger, if you guys don't know who he is, he directed Feast, and Feast is one of my all-time favorite, uh, horror films. So I'm really glad that he's come back to, uh, direct the sequel. I can't uh, wait till it comes out, but uh, be looking forward to that for Piranha fans. Other cool news, I don't know too much about this one though. There has it's really hard to find stuff about this, but uh, Rom Zombie um, has directed a new original concept, original film um, called Lords of Salem. Hopefully due for a 2012 release date. Hopefully, um, hopefully. I'm I'm really hoping it does because I I love you know Devil's Rejects. I love his Halloween remakes. Um, House of a Thousand Corpses was the, you know, but I, uh, I like all those other films, but, um, anyways, you know, if you guys like Rob Zombie, you know, be looking forward to that. And other news, uh, Texas Chainsaw 3D has been pushed back, if you guys didn't know, it was going to come out in October of this year, and now it's not going to come out until January 4th of 2013. Kind of a bummer, but what can you do? Anyways, uh, another face from the original Texas Chainsaw will be making a cameo in this one, and the original actress from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre will also be making a cameo in this 3D film. So it should be a pre it should be a really cool movie. I'll put a link in the description for more info for more info about Texas Chainsaw Massacre in 3D. Um also um this is gonna this is gonna you know probably piss some people off but you know it's What's news without a little bit of bad news, you know what I mean? Anyways, um, Evil Dead is um, in the works of being remade in uh, April of 2013 is when it's supposed to come out. And two new actors have recently been um, cast. Let's see here. Let's see. Two new actors, like I said, have been cast. And these two new actors are a girl named... Uh, Jessica Lucas, um, from Melrose Place, supposed to be joining the production, along with a new uh, comer, uh, Elizabeth Blackmore, are are set to roll in the uh, for set are set for roles in the um, upcoming horror film. Uh, the director is uh, Fide Alvarez. Is he's the going to direct it? Um, Jane Levy, Shyla Fernandez, and Lou Pus uh Pussy is um, on board, and uh, that's about it for the actors that I'm seeing right now. Um, it's going to be start filming uh, this April, so next month actually, and um, in New Zealand, the uh, producers of the film are Sam Raimi, Rob Tappert, and Bruce Campbell will be producing it. I don't know if they'll be making cameos. I will try. If I have any news about any of this stuff, I will make sure to uh, make another video about it. And if you guys have any any uh, horror news, just so you know, make sure you ca try to keep me posted. You know, and I'll I'll do my best to keep you guys posted also. Um. Anyway, so back to the news. Um, for all you uh, Dead Snow fans out there, um, the the Dead I forget his name, but the director of Dead Snow is making a new film that's going to be released in January of 2013 called Hansel and Gretel. Witch Hunters, and the basic premise is that 15 years after the traumatic events of Hansel and Gretel, they are now trained bounty hunters, and they basically they go after uh, witches and they kill witches with guns and stuff like that. This film said to have kind of an old timey feeling, but with you know pump action shotguns and stuff like that. I think it's I think it's a really cool concept. Um, Jeremy Renner I think is going to be in it, and Will Ferrell is going also going to be in it. Um, I don't know some of the actor, other actors, but anyways, um, 
Um, that's not what I wanted to focus on. What I wanted to focus on was, because I love the movie Dead Snow, well, Dead Snow is said to get a sequel. As soon as he's done with that, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure he's going to move on to a sequel, because I was looking up some info, and the Dead Snow sequel is, set, is said to be in uh, 3D. So uh, that's what I really wanted to uh, talk about, because I love Dead Snow. You know, Dead Snow has always been, you know, one from all time, you know, kind of pay for four films, and, you know, about Nazi zombies. If you guys don't know, I'll put a link in the description for more about Dead Snow. Um, if you guys have Netflix, it is on Netflix, so check it out. Um, anyways, uh, I'm, I'm glad that Dead Snow's getting a sequel, because it, it deserves one. Anyways, uh, one of our last things on the list today um, is Leprechaun. Leprechaun is said to be getting a remade. This has been in the works for a while now. They've been wanting to do this for a while. And finally, uh, Leprechaun, the icon, you know, cult hit, is, is being remade. Uh, Lionsgate and WWE are uh, actually, you know, tag team, and they, you know, they bought the rights, and they will be um, remaking the uh, film. Um, right now, it's it's said it's set for a 2013 release date, but right now, currently, there's no writer, no director, or no cast attached. So right now, you know, it's pretty much you know still in the works, very still in the works. It has nothing attached to it. I'll make sure to keep you guys posted on the uh, Leprechaun remake. Um, on um, one last thing here today. Um. Uh, Kevin Williamson, he wrote some of the previous uh, Scream films, and uh, Scream 5 will be coming, um, Scream 5 is in the works right now, and uh, sad, some sad news, but Kevin Williamson confirmed um, that he will not be involved at all with Scream 5. He is, you know, he's best known for his, you know, original work for writing the original Scream, its sequel, and then the fourth entry of the Scream franchise. I don't, I don't think he did three, but, um. But anyways, uh, he, uh, I'm pretty sure Wes Craven is going to direct it again, but Kevin Williamson will not be, uh, he will not be writing the, uh, screenplay for, uh, for Screen 5. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it on, um, on, um, horror news. Um, there are, there is one more thing, uh. Oh, I'll I'll talk about some of the, some of the latest uh, DVD releases that, that are coming out. Um, Creature got yeah, very badly received. Uh, you know, one of the biggest you know drop offs in box office. Anyways, uh, Creature has came out today. So if you guys like Creature, you know, go pick, go snag that up. Um, the original Hills Have Eyes Two has finally hit Blu-ray in a special edition pack. You know, so that that should be something to pick up. And that's a that's about it for uh, DVD releases that I can see that are uh, there that are uh, noticeable. I will put a link into the description for more upcoming DVD releases. Um, let me know. Let me uh, let me know any other horror news that goes on. Um, comment, subscribe. Let's get a little, good little discussion going. Tell me if you guys like the horror news. You know, uh, tell me any stuff that you guys might know, and uh, I will make sure to keep you guys posted on uh, stuff coming out. See you guys later.